In serious news, we are set to report that the Nevada Highway Patrol says a man ran off after causing a deadly head-on collision last night. This was a really bad one. The crash killed his passenger and injured three others. The driver of the silver SUV actually got out of the vehicle, looked around and took off on foot. Uh, one of the witnesses reported that he was bleeding substantially from his face and looked like he was hurt pretty bad. This accident happened about three miles east of Incline Village on Montrose Highway. Troopers tell us the Silver Isuzu Rodeo SUV was heading toward Incline Village when for some reason he drifted into the other lane and struck a blue Jeep with three people inside. They were all taken to renown with life threatening injuries. Meanwhile, the passenger in the SUV was also taken to renown but later died. Investigators suspect alcohol was a factor because they found open beer cans in the SUV. The man who took off described as Hispanic, about 5'7", weighing about 150. He was last seen wearing a dark jacket and dark pants. Troopers think he's heading towards or is already an inclined village. Now, if you've seen him or know anything, call the Nevada Highway Patrol at 688-0400. And in lighter news from the Mount Rose area, it's been a busy few weeks for the ski resorts. And a lot of people started their new year on the slopes. Adam Verahajko filed this report from Mount Rose Ski Tahoe. The beautiful weather, the great snow, and the whole mountain is pretty much open, so we're just going to have a good time. Mount Roski Tahoe says the day after Christmas was extremely busy, especially since they say they got some good snow the day before. But next week, as many of the visitors head back home, Mount Rose expects the rush to continue with locals coming up the mountain. And Mount Rose says this is probably one of the best winter starts they've seen in the last several years. We've had an outstanding holiday season period so far, um, probably the best in three years. Uh, just, just a really good start. We had the lion's share of the snow early and that actually helped our press. Today we found a lot of people visiting from the Bay Area to take in that powder. We were lucky enough to be just down the road when uh, Mount Rose got hit, so we're happy to be up. As long as the weather's clear, it's super nice, so we really like it here. Visitors say the Reno Tahoe area has a lot of appeal. The snow is not only unique to Reno, but uh, you know we, we, we love coming here. We love uh, spending money here. We love uh, you know coming here every year. Uh, you know we like gambling, so we come to Reno and we have a ski. Yeah. It's kind of a combined together and great food good, also. Good. And Bay Area residents say it also helps that they live pretty close to our area. We come up you know pretty frequently. It's it's not a it's three hours from the Bay Area, so it's all good. It's an easy drive. Covering the story, Adam Varahachikol, Channel Two News. Mm, makes you want to go skiing. So well, uh, I imagine today is going to be just great up there, but uh, any more snow on the way? Let's check in with Chloe. Hey, Chloe. Hi. And good morning, guys. Well, it doesn't look like any major storms are actually headed our way in the short term. We will see a lot of sunshine this afternoon, and let's take a peek outside right now. Mostly clear skies. Taking a look from our Tahoe camera of the valley. Very light winds uh, to start you off this morning. Calm conditions at the airport. Temperatures right now are at 13 degrees in Reno just slightly colder in Lake Tahoe. Here's a look at what we can expect this afternoon. Temperatures reaching the mid 30s right around noon, and it's going to be another cool day ahead of us. Upper 30s expected by this afternoon, just slightly below average high, te uh, high temperature wise. We have high pressure that's sitting right above uh, the region. That's bringing us uh, pretty mild winds and some strong valley inversions. Air quality is in the unhealthy range uh, for the area, and also we have a red burn code that has been issued for uh, the area today and temperatures right now. Uh, here's a look outside again, 13 degrees in Reno. Elsewhere seeing those temperatures in the single digits. Zero degrees is your current temperature in Ely. So we're off to a very cold start for today. Temperatures will be below average, but believe it or not, we actually have a warming trend that is going to be headed our way. I'll have more details on when we can expect that coming up in the full weather segment. All right, thank you for that, Chloe. In other news this morning, the man at the center of a big multi-state search was found and arrested in Truckee. Idaho police tell us this guy, 26-year-old Kevin McQuilliams, shot and killed a woman after an early morning fight in Idaho Falls. They say McQuilliams took off and they were unable to find him. Well, just hours later, the Humboldt County Sheriff's Office got a call saying he was spotted at a hotel in Winnemucca. Deputies searched the area but couldn't find him there either. Then, Reno police say they found him on El Rancho Drive and they swarmed the area, but they say McWilliams took off before they could make an arrest. Sheesh. Well, they 
he finally drove to Truckee where he was arrested then by uh, Truckee police. Got him. All right. Finally. Well, today in Money Watch, auto trend forecasters are actually expecting 2015 to be a big year for car sales. If we can go by what 2014 did and uh, our momentum going into 15, it looks like it's going to be a really good year. If people are buying everything. They're buying the big cars, they're buying the small cars, uh, but mostly new cars. Mostly new cars, huh? 2015 could see near record auto sales. Experts are projecting up to 17 million new vehicles could be sold within the year, and that's over $550 billion in new vehicle revenue. We had a 120% increase in sales last year. We predict that that will continue to, to grow in 15. Awesome. Well, dealers say more people have been buying new cars instead of used, and sales for trucks and SUVs have increased since gas prices have dropped. And technology is also a big draw for people buying these new cars. Most vehicles now come with USB ports, navigation system, and even those backup cameras. Yeah, uh, used cars usually don't have those. And uh, not only that, credit seems to be loosened. Uh, the interest rates are low. low. Yeah. And used cars are just so darn expensive.